Hi guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today we are going to be making two freestanding balloon columns and a balloon garland. Hope you guys enjoy. Supplies we will use are 12 and 5 inch balloons, use two to three colors to match your theme, 360 balloons, fishing line, flathead thumbtacks, 3M hooks, and a balloon pump. We start by inflating two of the same color 12 inch balloons at a time. This pump makes it easy and by doing two, you will reduce your work time in half in the end. Don't inflate them all the way, as this will leave room in the balloon for flexibility and to easily tie them together. Try to keep them as close to size as possible, as this helps keep the column balanced and proportioned. We now begin to put them in quads. You grab two pairs and twist them together. Try to twist at least twice, as this will prevent them from unraveling and coming apart when assembling the column. You do this with all the balloons, making sure your quad has alternating colors. So if you guys are liking this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you make this column or garland, be sure to share it with us on Facebook or Instagram at The Fake Boutique. I love, love, love seeing everyone's creations. Once we finish putting together all the quads, we make our weight that will stabilize our columns. You want to double up a balloon by using a pencil or a wooden dowel, by sliding the balloon, folding it, and then slipping a second balloon over it. I then fill it with water and tie it twice. You can do this at your sink, but for video purposes, I chose to use a water bottle instead. In the past, I have used as a weight filler sand and rocks or pebbles, and have used the store-bought balloon weights as well. But why spend more money when you can easily make your own, right? on to putting the column together. You can either use the ends of the balloons on the quads, fishing line, or the 360 balloons. I always check to see if the balloon ends are long enough and try to tie the two quads together, making sure the balloons on top rest in between the balloons on the bottom. They basically fit together like a puzzle. You also want to pay attention to the alternating the colors throughout the entire column. I chose three colors on this one, so spiral will be all red and the other will be white and silver. As you can see here, I am now using the 360s to tie the quads together. You tie it to one quad, then after placing the second quad in its position, you pull the 360 and wrap around a balloon, then wrap around a second one. Once you are finished stacking and tying together all the quads, attach the balloon weight to the bottom of your column. columns I inflated eight five inch balloons and two fully inflated 12 inch balloons and attached them to the top of the column. Here you can use any mylar or foil balloons to match your theme and complete the look. The garland is basically two columns attached together. The weight is attached to the end that is on the floor. I tied a fishing line to the top of the garland and with a thumbtack pinned it to the ceiling. I inflated 5 inch balloons and attached them sporadically to give the garland dimension and a more organic look. I also added fully inflated 12 inch balloons at the base and corner to give it more volume. enjoyed this new video if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe to my channel like comment and click on the little bell so you get notified every time we post a new video i will also link down below all my social media so you can check that out bye friends